Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate about the interoperability between the reality modeling with open roots modeling inside the open roots designer. Here I will show an example by using the large point cloud data. I will also create terrain model from the LIDAR data. Then I will clip it, reference it and then I will export to our project specific file. Now I will change my work set to reality modeling and I will go to the attach tab and I will open point cloud dialog box. Now my point cloud dialog box is open. Now I will go to file option, attach option and I will attach my POD file. So once you hit open, you will see this is very large point cloud data as well as this is very uncategorized data. I will show how to deal with this and how to make this data useful. Now you can see the green line out and this is the outline of the project area and this is the area which we want to get focus. As this is the project area so I will do clipped this area and referenced it. I will use clip element option to clip it and I will hit the data point and I will accept it. Clip the data but still it is attached. For that I will go to the file option and I will go to select export option. Before proceeding towards the export, instead of exporting the entire data, I will only export my clip portion. For that, I will select region filter to clip and I will hit OK. And I will give name clipped. And then I will save it. Now I will detach my original data and I will attach my clip data which is the exported one and now you can see the clipped as well as the point cloud data now you can see most of the data is well organized and you can also see uh, the bunch of the colors by selecting the elevation under the view attributes You can also go to the settings and change the display properties and you can view it very easily. Now what I will do, I will move towards the ground extraction tools and this tool will create the reference seat points and using the edited reference point, this will help us to create the Terran model. For that I will go to the extract tab and select the ground extraction and you will see the ground extraction toolbox is open. So before proceeding towards the ground extraction, I will change my point cloud style to none. As well as I will change my level to E terrain high points. And I will also change the width of the line mode is automatic and this will pass the LIDAR data as well as the point cloud data and extract to point large infrastructure size 60 this well is something nearest to the smallest edge of the building I will also change my level E terrain high points I will also check on terrain and terrain will create the two terrain that is one is dot 10 and another one is dot scalable terrain model I will hit the data point and I will accept it you will see it is creating two terrain one is dot 10 another one is dot scalable terrain model now you could see the terrain model is created and you can also see the points and underneath the triangulation I will select element selection tool and I will select the boundary of the terrain and I will change the edge method to maximum edge length and I will change it to 150. You can also turn off my triangles and then, I, then after I will turn on my major and minor contours. I will move towards the open roots modeling work set and I will create the triangles triangulation model 
from uh, the tin file which is created by using the ground extraction toolbar so I will go and open roots modeling and I will select the terrain and I will select from file then I will select my clipped dot tin file which is which is created by using the ground extraction toolbar and I will hit this is the feature definition and I will hit open and you could see we have created the terrain model from the tin file we can also go back to the reality modeling and just switch off the point POD file you can also change the edge method to maximum edge length and then and enter the value 150 you can also change major and minor contours and this is the terrain model basically this is the terrain model which is created from the reference point and that reference point which we have created by using the ground extraction tools and then after we proceed towards the open roots modeling and then we created this terrain thank you for watching this video